Hey, my name's Justin, and this is The Art of Repair. And today, I'm going to teach you how to use a USB power amp meter. All right, what exactly is a USB power amp meter? A USB power amp meter lets you watch the electrical interactions between a USB power host, um, which would be like your charging block, a battery power source, um, pretty much any power source that you're plugging into USB, you're going to be able to use this to kind of see the, like I said, the interaction between the host and the receiving end of that power. Okay. So with that being said, we're actually going to jump over here and take a look at one and we're going to see exactly how it works. All right. So we've got the little doodicky here. It's, uh, it's kind of hooked up to a USB host here, which would be my battery pack and it's going to run down and it's going to be this own little thing right here it's just got a small display on it and then it's got a usb end as well okay this usb end you plug in whatever cable you want to use and that is the interaction we're going to be monitoring the power source to the device all right so we know we're plugged up to the battery let's go ahead and plug up to the phone i'm going to be using an iphone se here and you'll see here as soon as i plug this into the device we should get some interaction here. There we go. All right, so let's see what's going on here and let's see what everything means, okay? All right, let's see, maybe we should focus. All right. So the first thing that we see here on the top left, and just an FYI, there's tons of different types, okay? There are so many different types of these. They are not all going to be the same. You just need to pay attention to what I'm actually saying each one is, and you'll be able to decipher it on whatever model you decide to buy, okay? So first we see the voltage, okay? This would be the voltage of the power source, okay? This is going to tell you a couple things. First and foremost, this is going to really quickly tell you, you know, which, which of your charging blocks or which of your power supplies or anything like that are the cheap gas station crap ones, okay? Um... 5.12 volts is actually a pretty good voltage. Um, obviously, it is not like Apple MFI or anything like that, um, but it's a good voltage and it's within spec for a lot of the, the devices, okay? The next thing you're gonna see here is the actual amperage that's being pulled into the device. Now, if you watched my earlier video on operational voltages, you would know that the amperage here is only what the device is pulling. Okay, it's it's not a set thing. It's whatever the device is pulling at that moment. Okay, then we move down to the bottom left here and we see ma milliamps per hour. Okay, milliamps per hour is how much power has actually been pulled into the device. Okay, so you know if you look at a battery and you see that it's got you know 1400 milliamps total capacity, you can see here that you know I've put in 26 milliamps into that battery. Okay, so. You know, there's a couple things on here that are going to tell you exactly what's going on, like I said, with that power interaction. And then the last thing we see on this specific model is the number two. This number two is literally just a cycle counter. I'm going to hold the button down, and it resets my milliamp, you know, cycle count. So, you know, that's not as important, but, you know, if you do want to get a raw, straight, real reading, you know, reset your, your counter and start from fresh. It's just kind of like setting your trip uh, your trip meter on your car or something like that. Um, so now let's go a little bit more in depth with this, okay? Um, obviously, like I said, if you look at the voltage itself, you can use this to determine if a power block is good quality or bad quality based on the voltage. Um, I would say that Apple blocks, you're looking at like 5.05 to 5.10. I've never really seen one that wasn't like 5.06. That's very close to five volts. Um, that's a very good quality block. Um, when you get to the 5.2 and above mark, you start getting into the kind of semi crappy chargers. And then, you know, just as an example here, any of those like Samsung battery chargers that have the secondary USB in the bottom, usually those are going to be around the 5.4 and above range. And I've seen them go all the way up to six. And that is not something that you want to be putting into your iPhone or really anything. I, I I would not use something like that with, you know, something that has a you know five volt tolerance on it. There there's just too much to play with there. So that right there, the voltage is going to tell you the quality of the block. 
okay, or the, the, the quality of the source of power, okay? The next thing, like I said, is your amperage. And the cool thing about this and the cool, the cool thing that you can do with this is you can actually do some board level diagnosis with without actually opening the device up, okay? So let me give you a couple examples here. So you plug this in and let's go ahead and unplug it. Oh, we're at zero, okay? Now watch this. What if I plugged it in, burp, nothing changed, nothing, no amperage, nothing, okay? That would tell me that the device is not pulling any power, okay? That means that we've got a main power rail short, okay? I didn't open the device. I didn't even turn it on, and I'm going to tell you right, ooh, I almost chucked it. And I'm going to tell you right now that I already would know that there's a main power rail short, okay? I didn't even open the device, okay? Now, let's give another scenario. Say we plug it in, okay? We start getting our amperage going through. Uh, but let's just say that instead of 0.9 amps, we get like, I don't know, almost two amps. And it's just very consistent. Like for 1.98 across the board and it's not, it's not doing anything but sitting there, okay? It's not charging, it's not doing anything. That really quickly tells me that something beyond the main power rail is shorting and pulling all of that current into the device, okay? So right there, we've got two different examples of how you can use one of these little USB power amp meters to, to diagnose a board level issue without even opening the device, okay? Um, another thing that you can do with this is you can check and see uh, if batteries are good, okay? So this one's kind of more, more of a fun one here. If you know the operating voltage of your device and of your battery, and you know what the full power voltage of a battery is, um, then you can take that and do a little bit of fun math, and you can leave this here for a while, and you can look at your total milliamps put into the battery, and you know after about 20 minutes, you can do the math, and you can find out if that battery is matching up to the percentages on the screen. So there's quite a bit of stuff that you can actually do with these little power amp meters and I feel like they're a very underrated tool. Um, so yeah, I mean, if, if you don't have one of these, you, you gotta check one out. They're on Amazon, boom. Gonna throw it down in the description, not a problem. It probably is already down there. It's probably already been down there. But, you know, I don't even see these things being more than $9.99 and they're absolutely essential. I use them every single day. So hey, I really hope you learned something today. In fact, if you uh, liked the video, go and hit right over down there and hit the like button. And if you're not already subscribed and you wanna start checking out all my stuff weekly, just head on over to the other side and hit subscribe. Now, if you are super about it and you wanna learn everything that I'm trying to teach, whoop, boom, hit that notification bell, all right? It's really important. That way, every single time I upload something, it pops up right on your phone, your computer, whatever you're doing, all right? And hey, check it out. Maybe you have an opinion about what I'm doing right now. Or maybe you even used my technique on a repair and it worked for you. If any of these things apply to you, or maybe you just wanna say hi, hit me up with a comment. I love them, seriously, I love the comments. They're my favorite. Every time I get one on my phone, I'm like, oh yeah. And if you are one of those people that is about to look me up on Instagram um, to ask me what equipment I use, well guess what, I already got you. Don't even worry about it. Hit the description, boom, right down at the bottom has everything in a big old list. If there's something that I didn't put on there, then hit me up on Instagram, the phone god, check out my stuff, then hit me up and let me know what you need. And don't forget, I'm Justin, and this is The Art of Repair.